What do you feed your coral? Well, on this episode, we're gonna check out a new product that I tried in feeding mine. Let's get to it. A little while ago, I visited Aquarium Care Center, and it was during that visit that uh, the owner, John, showed me a product that they carry called Coral Candy. Now, to me, it looked very similar to Refroids, uh, with some exceptions, and I'm going to show you what those exceptions are in this video. I wanted to give it a shot and see if it's stacked up against Refroids, and I think you're going to be surprised about how it's stacked up. Uh, I'm going to show you how the corals fed on it, and also what the results are and what my opinion as far as a review would be after using it over a period of time. So with that being said, let's go to the tank and check it out. So as we open up this jar of coral candy, I just want to let you know that I'm not being paid at all to endorse this product. I'm just giving you my honest review of how this product worked in my tank over time. And it's a alternative to feeding your corals. Now, also in addition to this, uh, I just want to give you a hint at something coming up. I will be having a 2,000 subscriber giveaway where Coral Candy will play a role in. You're going to be getting um, some the two prizes right now that I have for you is a $200 gift certificate for Coral from Aquarium Care Center and also a container of Coral Candy to try out for yourself. So with that being said, let's crack the top and check it out. Now, the first thing you'll notice is this is very similar to uh, another coral food that's on the market, and this is being this being uh, Refroids from Polyp Labs. And I'm going to compare the two and show you the differences that exist right off the bat. Now, here is Polyp Labs um, Refroids, and you'll notice that the Refroids is basically a powdery um, substance that contains all the same size um, of particulate within it. So basically the particulate size uh, makes it appealing to feed LPS coral perfectly. They accept it with no problem. Uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to bring in the coral candy and the thing that I liked about this product from the start was you could see that the particulate size varies. Uh, there's many different things that make this up. And in the future episode, I hope that we'll get John himself on to explain uh, basically what goes into coral candy and how it's appealing to not only LPS corals, but SPS corals and your fish, your invertebrates, basically your whole tank. And this is what I found off of this. The whole tank goes crazy when this hits the water. Uh, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take you through how I mix my batch and the consistency of the mix before I feed it to the tank. Now right here I have a cup of tank water and I'm going to be putting in four of these small spoons of coral candy. Now when you get the jar itself it doesn't tell you exactly how much to feed uh, but I found if I went by the measurement that I used to do with uh, my Refroids that it was perfect uh, for the um, mix that I was going to put in my tank. Here I give it a good stir and this will mix it throughout the water that's in, in the container and get it to the point where I can feed it to the tank. Now what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you what happens when it hits the tank and the corals reaction one by one uh, and how they uh, basically readily take it in. Okay so here are my eight cans, and you'll see that uh, pretty soon from the top right corner, the, that's the turkey base that I'm using. I'm not hitting them with a huge jet of water, so they are reacting somewhat to the water that's being injected in on top of them. But in the next frame, you'll see it's sped up, and it'll show you the, the reaction of the coral. You can see how the coral is basically turning up, and the tentacles are coming out. You'll see the, the orange ones to the left. Um, 
are reacting to the coral candy that's in the tank and they're taking it in uh, as readily as they took in polyp labs. So the reaction between both of these coral foods are the same. But again, you have to remember the different particulate size makes a difference, I feel, in this food. You could also see some of the worms in the sand going crazy as usual that there's food in the tank and there's another shot of some dusting coming over and the corals reacting to them. Um, also, after um, the initial dose, it's free floating in the water column, which makes it easy for the corals to extend their tentacles, as we see here, and grab it um, and pull it in. Now, the next frame, what you're going to see is a sped up, uh, again, a video sped up of the orange micromuses and what they do after uh, it's been free floating and hitting the tentacles. You actually see the coral is now taking into his mouth. It's closing down. But also what I want you to take notice to is when the camera view changes to show all three of these polyps, the bottom polyp will actually catch some and take it and pull it into its mouth. And that's going to be coming up. Um, you'll see the coral is now open, the tentacles are out, it's looking for food, and you can actually see it reacting to some of the particulate that's flo flying by it. Uh, right there is where the catch is, and you see that tentacle goes immediately to the mouth, and it starts pulling more in with the tentacles around it and taking it in. So there is no problem with, as far as I'm concerned, feeding your corals with this food. They do take it in. I have been using it since the Aquarium Care Center visit, and I am thrilled to death about the reactions to the coral candy and also uh, how the corals have um, accepted it, colored up, and uh, just a great option for feeding your corals. You can see here, these are the Worldwide Coral Pandora corals taking it in. This is my Jason Fox Barney coral up top, and you can see the particulate floating in the water column. And you'll notice in the next frame, how it starts from this version and you can see now the strings coming off of the coral fishing into the water column to get the food and bring it into the polyps it's just it's, just, it's wild to see how the corals react with this food in the water column here's a shot of the neon green favia that sweepers are out um, looking for food and again this is a way to make sure that you hit all your corals in one shot. Um, I feed all the corals this, and there's a lot of development that's going into this. And again, that's going to I'm going to delve into that more when we do the interview with John. Here are the, the red mushrooms, and you can see the reaction. This is sped up again, but the reaction to the food hitting it is ridiculous. And you can see also my yellow tang is flying around the tank uh, looking for the food. Now, um, as far as what I feel about the food, it's great. I, I do use it, and I plan on using it from now on in my tank. Um, like I said, uh, it is an option for you. Uh, all the links for information regarding it and where to pick it up will be in the description down below. Uh, it's going to be in my 2,000 subscriber giveaway contest, so keep your eyes open for that. Uh, I hope you... Uh, enjoyed some of the information uh, on the video and if you have any questions feel free again to comment down below and I get back to you as soon as I can um, if you are uh, not subscribed to the channel feel again hit the subscribe button hit the bell so you're notified for when videos are coming up and uh, as usual um, I'll have more information on it on the next video so if you have the chance, uh, pick up a, a container of it and give it a try for yourself. All the links will be down in the description below. And as always, this is Scott, and I will see you next time around the reef tank. Thank you for watching this episode of Roscoe's Reef with Scott. As always, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe.